Are your security alerts multiplying faster than your morning emails? You're enjoying a quiet day at work one minute and the next. Cyber threats are popping up everywhere. Welcome to the world of Siam. But fear not. Because today, we're going to tame that chaos with Wazoo, an open source Siam solution that's not just smart, but also free. Without all the complicated tech jargon, I'll walk you through the basics in this tutorial, from installation to monitoring and reporting. Think of Wazoo as your new best friend, the one who's great at detecting threats and loves doing all the heavy lifting for you. So stick around if you're ready to stop drowning in security logs and enjoy that well-earned coffee while Wazoo handles the mess. In this video, we'll cover everything from installation to monitoring and reporting, basically everything you need to turn your security operations from frantic to fantastic. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Jasmine, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro fast. System Requirements and Prerequisites Before we jump into the actual installation of Wazoo, let's hit pause and make sure you're all set with the basics. You wouldn't start cooking without knowing if you have all the ingredients, right? Same goes here. Wazoo may be flexible, but it still needs certain resources and conditions to run smoothly. So let's talk about what you'll need. First up, hardware and software. Depending on the scale of your operation, Wazoo can be a light breeze or a bit more resource intensive. But here's the good news. You don't need a supercomputer to get it up and running. Wazoo is designed to run efficiently on modest hardware. At a minimum, you'll need a system with a two core CPU and at least four gigabyte of RAM, though I'd recommend bumping up to eight gigabyte for a smoother experience, especially if you're managing multiple endpoints. In terms of storage, you'll need at least 20 gigabytes of disk space, but this can vary depending on how many logs you plan to collect. Now for the software side, Wazoo supports a wide variety of operating systems, but it's particularly friendly with Linux-based distributions like Ubuntu and CentOS. That said, if you're a Windows fan, don't worry. Wazoo got you covered there too. Just be sure your system is up to date with the latest patches because Wazoo doesn't play well with outdated OS versions. Okay, so what else do you need before diving into installation? First, you'll need a system that has Python installed, as Wazoo's components rely on Python scripts for certain functions. If you're running Linux, Python is likely already installed, but it's always a good idea to check. Additionally, having a MySQL or Elasticsearch setup is highly recommended, especially if you're planning on doing heavy log analysis. Elasticsearch will help Wazoo handle and store those large volumes of data efficiently, so you're not left with a system that's sluggish or overloaded. And finally, it's crucial to ensure you've allocated sufficient network bandwidth. Wazoo handles a ton of data traffic when it's monitoring your systems so your network infrastructure should be ready to support it. If you've checked all these boxes, you're good to go. Installation. To start the installation, start by searching for Wazoo in your preferred browser like Chrome or Firefox. From the generated results, open the first link. The first link will redirect you to the Wazoo official page. From there, you can get a quick overview of Wazoo. Here, you can get information regarding the endpoint and cloud workload protection, and you'll also find a comprehensive SIEM solution as well that helps you get started quickly. Moreover, you can also join their community from there. You can get the latest information about the updates and the solutions to any bugs or errors. Wazoo has an active community that helps you a lot while debugging errors and helping you get started. Now, at the bottom of this page under the documentation section, select the Quick Start link to open the installation guide of Wazoo. From this page, you can go through the prerequisites or system requirements and find which operating system is recommended by Wazoo. Below this section, you'll find the Wazoo installation command, which you have to copy and paste into the system's terminal. This command will then install the Wazoo dependencies, configuration files, Wazoo indexer, Wazoo server, and Wazoo dashboard. After the installation, it'll provide you the link to your dashboard, admin username, and password for your account. 
Now, retrieve your IP address of Ubuntu machine by executing the IPA command and search it on with the provided port number of 443, and there enter the provided username and password for the Wazoo account. Then, it will take some time to perform some arrangements for you like checking the API connection and server, etc. Once done, it will display in-depth details about your system on the dashboard. From there, you can analyze the critical, medium, and other levels of severity. Moreover, you can generate a report of your system for specific criteria or can run several integrated tools. Just like I am running the malware detection checkup for my system by clicking on the malware detection button. This clicking opens a malware detection page where you can detect any Emotet or Rootkit's malware activities. The Emotet malware is a sophisticated banking trojan that primarily targets financial institutions and individuals. It spreads through email attachments, often disguised as legitimate documents, and once executed, steals sensitive information such as banking credentials, passwords, and personal data. Emotet is also known for its ability to download and execute other malicious payloads, including ransomware, expanding its potential damage. On the other hand, Rootkits is a type of malware designed to hide malicious activity on a compromised system. They often operate in the background, modifying system files, processes, and network traffic to avoid detection. Rootkits are commonly used to install and maintain other malware, such as ransomware or spyware, and can disable security features to prevent removal. They can also tamper with system files, making it difficult for the system to boot normally or for security tools to identify and eradicate the infection. At the bottom of this page, you'll see your agent on which the malware detection was previously done. To get an in-depth report of this detection, traverse into the Events page next to the dashboard. On this page, you can retrieve any past malware detection checkup reports. As you can see, I have four malware reports along with their timestamp, agent names, data title, and other attributes. You can use these attributes to find the required malware checkup report. Once done, select the Wazoo logo to traverse back toward the main dashboard. And now you can see that the severity for our Ubuntu machine is reduced after running the malware checkup. Now hit any severity to check the rule levels just like I am checking the rule level of medium severity. This medium severity web page displays a list of alerts that have been classified as medium risk. These alerts typically indicate potential security threats or vulnerabilities that could have a significant impact on your system if left unaddressed. Here you can see a lot of logs displayed in the source section showcasing the origin or source of the alert. This information can help identify the specific system, component, or process that triggered the alert. Moreover, you can get a little more brief details about the medium severities under the expanded document heading, and they can be shown in the table in JSON format. You can also scan the assets as per the configuration assessment audit by hitting the
details about security posture assessment, threat intelligence sharing, incident response, and many more. Its intelligence page is divided into five sections, groups, mitigation, software, tactics, and techniques. Here you can get info about threat alerts, vulnerability reports, security advisories, threat intelligence feeds, and threat hunting reports. The Framework page tells you about the recommended settings or tactics which can be utilized to minimize the vulnerabilities and to safeguard your system. You can apply them as per your understanding level and need. In the events, you'll again get to know about each tactic in a lot of detail so that you get to know them very well. Now for file integrity monitoring, open the configuration file of the Wazoo agent, scroll down to the Program Data Startup Directories tag, and move to the targeted folder in the Windows agent system. Open that folder in CMD to retrieve the path Paste that path inside the directories tag and save the file. Next, create a random file inside that folder and open the current agent dashboard on the Wazoo. After that, hit the File Integrity Monitoring feature and it should display some monitoring graphs or reports like this. Now, let's talk about some real-world use cases scenarios where Wazoo can be used. Wazoo's real-world use cases. So, we've seen what Wazoo can do, but how is it actually being used out in the real world? After all, a tool is only as good as the impact it has on real-life scenarios, right? Well, Wazoo is already making waves across various industries, from healthcare to finance to government sectors, and the results are impressive. Healthcare, protecting sensitive data. In healthcare, patient data must be kept secure. Wazoo is commonly used to monitor unauthorized access and potential breaches, helping hospitals comply with strict regulations like HIPAA. In this field, security isn't just important, it's critical to protecting lives. Finance, guarding against cybercrime. Banks are prime targets for cybercrime. Wazoo monitors transactions and system logs, detecting irregularities in real time. It also helps financial institutions meet regulations like PCIDSS, crucial for maintaining compliance and protecting customer assets. Government, strengthening national security. Government agencies use Wazoo to safeguard critical infrastructure. From nation-state hackers to internal threats, Wazoo's log analysis and intrusion detection provide a strong defense. Its open source nature allows for custom solutions tailored to specific national security needs. Best practices for Wazoo Sci M management. Now that we know how industries are leveraging Wazoo, let's talk about how you can get the most out of it. Just like a car needs regular oil changes to keep running smoothly, Wazoo requires a bit of care and attention to ensure it's doing its job efficiently. Configuring Wazoo for optimal monitoring. First things first. Proper configuration is key. As soon as you install Wazoo, don't just stick with the default settings. Tailor the rules to your specific environment. You want to create alerts that are relevant to your business, not just generic warnings. For example, if you're in the healthcare industry, prioritize compliance and patient data security. If you're in finance, your configuration should focus on transactional integrity and fraud detection. It's also worth segmenting your systems. Don't lump everything into one giant monitoring pool. Group similar servers and services together. This way, if something triggers an alert in one segment, it's easier to track down and resolve the issue quickly. Regular maintenance practices. Next, let's talk about maintenance. Wazoo's power lies in its real-time alerts. But those alerts are only as good as the rules they're based on. Regularly updating your rules is a must. New threats emerge constantly, and you want to make sure your system is armed with the latest intelligence. Don't forget about dashboard monitoring either. Keep an eye on your Wazoo dashboards regularly so that you're aware of trends or repeated patterns of unusual activity. This helps you catch and fix small issues before they escalate into bigger problems. Future of Wazoo and Open Source Security As we look ahead, it's clear that open source security tools like Wazoo are crucial with rapid development and adaptability, Wazoo continues to evolve, integrating new features and AI-driven solutions to stay ahead of emerging threats. 
the future looks promising for Wazoo and open source security. All right, folks, that's a wrap on this Wazoo tutorial. We've covered a lot of ground today. From understanding the basics of SciM and how Wazoo stands out, to getting into the nitty-gritty of its key features, and even setting up a separate agent server environment, I hope this breakdown helped you see how powerful Wazoo can be in enhancing your security infrastructure. By now, you should have a solid grasp on how to configure, monitor, and integrate Wazoo to protect your systems against real-world threats. Whether you're securing a small business or a large enterprise, Wazoo's open-source flexibility and robust features make it a go-to solution. If you're like me and love discovering tools that are both powerful and cost-effective, Wazoo is definitely worth diving deeper into. And the best part? You don't need to break the bank to get enterprise-level protection. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your fellow techies, and of course, subscribe for more deep dives into cybersecurity tools like this one. And hey, if you've got questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay secure and keep exploring the tech that keeps us all safe online. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.